Right, everyone, this is going to be huge. We're here for the Anzac Day Clash. First Anzac Day experience. We're pretty excited. Got last minute tickets. And, um, well, we're set for a thriller because both sides are in the top four. We just had the Anzac Day ceremony. Just about to do the toss. And I am so pumped for this. It's going to be a, an awesome game. I actually controversially took the Bombers. I know a lot of Pies fans would be happy with that. But we'll see what happens. I think it's going to be a good game of footy nonetheless. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Day through Draper. And he's got it. Bombers first goal on Anzac Day. Pies have a chance to get their first. Brody Mychek. Get a Henchy. How's yeah. your shift? Yeah, it's alright. Midway through. That's good. Hopefully, Gibby can kick one while I'm out here as well. So, what are your predictions? I reckon Pies get up by 12 odd. Yeah, Two I goals, feel like we're goals. in the we're in the Pies section. You're gonna be back in the Pies. Oh, he's missed it. That's a ruse. Is that a mark? It is a mark. Who was that? Wiedemann. Well, the Bombers, early start. I've kicked the first two, Henchy. Are you surprised? I am actually a little bit. Uh, Collingwood just don't drop these big games, so they're not losing yeah. it. I'm, well, I don't I'm know about say. not losing it, but I know they'll certainly be in this game. This, if the Bombers are going to start like this, it'll be close. Lose. It'll be close. Wow. Wow. Essendon. They kick the first three on Anzac Day. But he's kicked the point. Oh, I'm going to head. And well, I, might, I might see you after. Henchy might be heading, so there's a nice cameo <laughs> feature from Henchy. And Collingwood, I wouldn't four start, zero goals four. The Pies wouldn't want to be goalless at quarter time to Goey. Can he break the drought for the Pies? On the siren. He's kicked the goal. And Collingwood are up and about. They kicked their first after an entertaining first quarter. And a bit of a scrap going on in the goal square. Alrighty, well, it is quarter time here at the G for Antic Day, and we are set for an absolute ripper, ripper of a contest. Both sides have uh, turned up the heat in the first. Essen kicking the first three goals, but Collingwood getting back into the game with the goey late quarter goal on the siren. Uh, it's going to be really difficult to really see who wins it from here. Obviously, I did to Essen, so for that sense, I hope they win. But yeah, we're set for a really good uh, contest so far here on Antic Day. To be a good start for Collingwood in the second quarter. And he's got the goal. So Collingwood start on fire. Second most games played on Anzac Day. He's got penalty 17. And he kicks the goal to the Pies. Have a regained the lead. I think for the first time today. Pies have all the momentum at the moment in this one, kicking the last four. And Langford, is it? Yes, he's uh, got the mark inside 50. The Bombers do need this one. It's, an impor are, it's important, this kick. You can feel them slowly taking back control. This be a big kick. It is a big kick for Langford. Need to nail it for the Bombers' sake. Good kick. There aren't many Bombers fans, you know, comparing it to the Collingwood fans, it's really quiet here. Oh, he's pointing to the crowd, he's pointing to the crowd, and the Bombers through Langford kick still in a row. Scores a level here at the G for Anzac Day, Jordan with Joey. It is a tie game, and I'll tell you what, the Pies were pressing. They certainly were pressing for that one. Right, Nick Dacos, 21 touches just before half time. My prediction of him winning the medal is looking good. If he continues this way, he's going to win it, I reckon. And there we have it. A good first half if you're a neutral. Collingwood. Were the better of the sides that quarter, kicking four, the Essendon one, or two, sorry. 
They lead it by two points. Not much splits the two sides, but Collingwood are looking the better side at the moment. And what do you reckon? I reckon the Bobbers are going to go slightly. I reckon they're going to come away with it. Uh, I did take the Pies, the Bombers. I reckon they've got the upset coming. You, you, you've changed your mind, even in the pie scar. I, I will stick with my tip. Gut feeling always seems to go right for me, so I did say Bombers by one. I'm going to go with it still. What a sloppy start from Collingwood in this uh, second half. First 40 seconds, a couple of mistakes cost them a goal. The tip of the Bombers is looking good. It is looking all right at the moment. The Bombers, another lead change in this game as well. Lead it by five. And what was that by Maynard? That is just shite. Who's up, who's up, who's up, who's up, who's up? What? 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 That was a mark! That... Oh, what the fuck? That would have been an Anzac Day ripper. Bombers are on. It isn't great. This umpiring is not great, and I'll tell you what, it's reminding me of 2019, Anzac Day. That was shocking. Maybe not as bad though in this one, but it's, yeah, it's a couple of non-calls that are just pretty bad. Certainly was not expecting this from the Bombers. Well, I mean, I knew they would, you know, certainly have a good game, but they're definitely, they're definitely turning it up here. Collingwood have cracked under pressure, making mistakes. A leader by 17 now, Essen. Collingwood. Just Need to find something at the moment. And he slots the needle. Threads the needle and it's a 22 point margin. What the hell's going on? It's 28 points now. Essen have just killed the pies this quarter. It's actually getting unbelievable. It's almost getting to the stage where I'm not sure if they're able to come back from this. It's, wow. Colling it's Collingwood though, so you can't write them off. Although it's Collingwood, this is super. I actually reckon the going on. I think they will hold on. It's it's going to be tough now. They've got to go now. Inside 50. Mark needed. Beaten by the siren. I'm currently one quarter away from getting nine out of nine in my tips. I did go the Bombers, but we cannot write off Collingwood, especially on a moment like this, Anzac Day. They're in by 28. Unfortunately, not kicking this end, but they need a massive quarter. And I think they will respond. It's going, to be, it's going to be interesting, what do you reckon, Essendon? I reckon the Bombers are going home. This is the truly best we have ever seen the Bombers Do you reckon play. they'll win it comfortably or the Pies come back? We know it's fine, but it'll be a close game. We're having the Bombers get hard on it. I'm technically one quarter away from being five and a nine correct, so... It's a mark for Sydney. Frampton shouldn't miss this. So We've got one of the great attendances for Anzac Day, 95,179, an Anzac Day record and the second highest in home and away history. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Game on, Collingwood first two of this quarter. They've got all of the all of the play, it's all going Collingwood's way. Ash Johnson from outside 50. Let's the crowd know about it, and the Collingwood chance is starting, which means that it's still anyone's game. Goal. Well, just as Jack Ginnivan was lining up to reduce it to four points, we got ratted out by some fan who didn't want to be shown on camera, and the security guards came up to both of us and threatened us to kick us out of the ground if we filmed again. So unfortunately, I couldn't get the clip of the Ginnivan goal because we were literally forced to stop.
So in response to this, we were like, what the fuck? Since when was this a rule? And as a result of this, because we didn't want to get kicked out, we didn't really get great shots at the last few moments of the game. I, do you reckon we leave? I'd almost, I'd almost leave. I don't want to get kicked out. Last five minutes. Update the pods up by seven. Someone snitched on us, I reckon. There's a new security guy who's fine with us filming. We just can't show all the people. So I don't know if it's going to be a new trend for the match day vlogs, but we're just going to be a little bit careful here. I don't want to miss out on any of the action for you guys for this massive end of the game. Pies up by seven. And I tell you what, they're looking like they're winning this game. Possibly for the sealer here. The sealer. I should have tipped Collingwood. I should have tipped Collingwood. I win on Antic Day for Collingwood. McCleary to make it 13 points. Doesn't matter. It wouldn't matter if he misses or not. Collingwood Football Club, Nick Dacos. What a freak, Nick Dacos.